Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can migrate your Microsoft To-Do and Planner tasks across tenants and different accounts. Since I started to work on my YouTube channel, I always used Microsoft To-Do with my personal account. But now I have more ideas and I am collecting more feedback and suggestions from you. So I need to work much more with metadata. I need to filter, easily search, categorize, and to better prioritize my tasks, I decided to use Planner. I have an Office 365 subscription. So in this video, I'll show you how I migrated my Microsoft To-Do tasks into my Office 365 subscription, more specifically in Planner. Okay, let's get started. Here we go on my PC and I have Microsoft To Do with my personal account in the browser open. This is the URL of this useful tool. Now I want to show you the list of tasks that I want to migrate is this one, YouTube. I have 134 tasks to migrate in Planner. Now opening this list, I show you that I created here all ideas that I have and I even added your suggestions and Microsoft To Do, it's great if you want to add personal tasks, maybe you deal with family tasks or you have to handle articles in your blog or your grocery list, it's great for that. But when you have to add category to your tasks, when you want to divide tasks in buckets, or maybe you need to work with more metadata, you need to attach files, you need to add a, a checklist, more description, and so on. Or maybe you need just to group, uh, search easily, sort, filter, and aggregate better your tasks. I think that Microsoft To Do is not really the right tool for you. And this is exactly the reason why I decided to migrate in planner. Okay, before to jump in every single step, let's discuss about requirements. First of all, for my purpose, I will use Microsoft Graph API. If you are not familiar with that, basically it's a bridge that allows you to communicate with Microsoft 365 so you can collect all information that you need. Don't worry, you don't need to be a developer. For my solution, I have not written any lines of code. With Microsoft Graph API, I'm able to read all my tasks under the list YouTube in Microsoft to do. So I will have as a result a JSON. Then I will save this JSON in a file. A JSON file is just a collection of name and value pairs. Finally, as last step, I will use Power Automate in order to read this JSON file and to create every task in Planner. I have now the Graph Explorer in the browser open. This will allow me to consume the Graph API and to collect all information that I need. There is a button here sign in to Graph Explorer. Let's click on it. I am now logged in with my personal account in Graph Explorer. Let's jump now here in the Microsoft Graph API documentation. Below here we can expand to do tasks. And let's see now the endpoint that I have to consume in order to collect all tasks contained in the YouTube list. Okay, let's expand task and here list tasks. So this is the URL that I can use in order to collect all tasks in the YouTube list of Microsoft To Do. It's very important to add this kind of permission, tasks.readwrite, in order to read all tasks across Graph Explorer. As you can see here, we have the To Do Task List ID. I don't know the ID of the YouTube list. Then I have to expand this other voice task list and list tasks lists will allow me to see the ID of my YouTube list. So then let's start to consume this URL. Let's copy this URL and let's go back in Explorer. I can paste now this URL that I just copied. Let's check permission now. In order to do that, you have to go on the wheel icon here, more actions and then select permissions. This open this permission panel and in the search you can type tasks. And finally I have this permission task read write. I already consented. You have just to select this item and then click on the button consent. Now theoretically we are able to run this query and to see the ID of this YouTube list in my to-do. Let's click on run query and here we have all lists that I have in to-do. 
scrolling a little bit down i can search now youtube and here we go this is the list of all tasks that i want to migrate let me copy now the id of this list because i need to use for the second query okay let me jump again on the graph documentation and now under task i can list all tasks that i need let me copy this url me and then back on the graph explorer i can now add this url me to do lists and finally here i can replace to do task list id with the one that i just copied before and here we go now theoretically i am ready to consume this query let's click again on run query now below i don't have all tasks in fact, this result is limited to 10 items. Theoretically, I have to consume this other URL to get the next 10 items. But I want to collect with one shot all items contained in this list. So I have to add in this URL a query parameter. So I will type question mark and then I can just type top and finally 999 okay now running this query i will collect all tasks contained in the youtube list and here we go this is my json i can copy now this json and i want to just show you that i have the title of the task i have the status is reminder on created daytime last modified i have here the body with the content of this task the due date time the reminder day time okay i copied now this json i'll drop now a json file on my desktop i will create a new file a text document and this will be youtube tasks okay pressing now enter i can paste all my json in this txt file I will close this one and I will click on save now I will rename the extension this will be json and I will confirm and now I have a json file with all my tasks next I will create a new team in Microsoft Teams with planner added as a tab I am now in my office 365 tenant as I said I will create a new team then let's click on join or create a team create team from scratch private group and this will be my youtube theme okay let's click on create and now this theme is created i will add now planner to this theme so let me search for planner which is now called tasks as well let's click on the icon and now i will type the name of this planner tasks okay let's click on save and here we go now i have a new planner that i can use to migrate all tasks okay let's go now on files because i will upload here the json that i saved before here we go just drag and drop this file in this document library and now this json file is added this will be more easy to read with power automate it's time to build our power automate migration process in order to do that i will open now power automate which is not listed here in the waffle menu then i will click on microsoft traces file this will open a new tab and now here on the left pane i have power automate available let's click on it i am landed on power automate now i will create this new flow in order to do that you have to click on the create button on the left panel and here as a trigger i will choose an instant cloud flow then manually trigger a flow and finally create in the text here i will add the name of this flow migrate to do personal list to planner and this is my trigger manually trigger a flow okay i can start to add steps in the first step i need to read the content of the json file then i will use the connector sharp point and finally get file content here we go this is the action that i need inside address i can add the sharepoint site url which is not listed here then i have to click on enter custom value and i will paste now the sharepoint site url in the file identifier i have to select the document library where is stored this file and it is stored in shared documents i can click on show contents 
and general channel, I will find the YouTube tasks.json. Here we go. I am now able to read the content of this file. This action will return a string, but I need to work with entities. Then let's click on next step and I have to parse this JSON. So I will use this action now, parse JSON. In the content, I have to specify the file content from the previous action. And as schema, now I have to click generate from sample. And here I can just paste the JSON that I copied before. Paste, this is my JSON, and then done. Here we go, the schema is automatically generated by Power Automate. Next, I will add a cycle and I will type apply to each. And I have now this cycle. This is because I have to go through every task. So then in the select an input from previous step, I will type in value. Value is an array and contains all tasks. Thanks to parse JSON, I can use now this entity. Okay, let's add now a condition because I want to add only active tasks in planner and not completed tasks. Add an action condition. Then here I can search for status. And then I can specify here is not equal to completed. And if yes, I will create the task in Planner. Let's add Planner now. Then I can search for Planner Connector. And under Action, I have Create a Task. I will use this one, which is in Preview. So I have to add some required parameter. The first one is the most important, which is the Group ID. Dropping down these menu items, I have YouTube as Team. Then the plan ID, which is YouTube tasks, and finally the title. In the title, I will add the title which comes from to do. Then the bucket ID, I will use the default bucket to do. And the last parameter that I want to add is due date time. So I can easily search for the parameter by typing day time. And below here, I have three date times. The first one is the due date time, then there is the start date time and the reminder. So let me select this one. And how I can be sure that this one is the right one, I can over this label. And as you can see here, I, this is the due date time. It's fine. So theoretically, my flow is completed. I can run now this flow. So I will save now this flow. And now I can go back, got it. And finally, I can click on run. So I have to click on the button here, continue to confirm all this permission and then run flow. Clicking on none, this flow is running. Let's click on it. This flow is completed now. Let's double check in Teams. I will click now on the YouTube tasks tab and this will load planner. And look at this, I have all my tasks in the bucket to do. So all tasks are migrated and I have even the due date type. I decided to use this mixed approach with Graph Explorer and Power Automate because for me it was the easiest and fastest way to reach my goal. Okay, that was a quick tutorial how I migrated my Microsoft to-do tasks with my personal account in Office 365 Planner. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is exactly how I build my to-do list in Planner now for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!